So this is basically the way it works. We want to determine the location of the lowest priority group. Okay. What I mean by location is we want to figure out is it vertical or is it horizontal? Okay. If and the lowest priority group is always going to be four. So basically, I just want to know where is four. Okay. If four is vertical. Okay. If four is faced vertical, then the chirality is exactly as it looks. I'm just going to go from one to three. I'm going to draw that arrow, and that's going to be it. Okay. Whereas if four is horizontal. Okay, then the chirality is just going to be flipped. So whatever you draw, you're just going to take the opposite sign. All right. So here I have two examples. This would be an example where H is vertical. So notice that my fourth priority group is vertical. So that means that it's going to be as it looks. So I'm just going to say one to two to three. It's going in a S direction. So that's actually going to be the final answer. The final answer for this chiral center would just be S. Does that make sense so far? Now let's look at this next one. Here's my chiral center. Four, as you can see, is now horizontal. So that means it's going to be flipped. So once again, I'm going to do one to two, two to three, three to one. It looks like S, but it's actually going to be R because of the fact that it's horizontal. Now keep in mind, for Fisher projections, I'm never swapping groups. So I'm not swapping out one and four or anything like that. All I'm doing is I'm just taking the chirality and I'm flipping it if it happens to be horizontal, or I'm keeping it if it happens to be vertical. So in some ways, this is actually easier than what we learned for the other compounds. And when you have a very big Fisher projection that has a lot of chiral centers, you're going to be thankful that you have this method that you can just go really, really fast and figure it out. Okay? So what I want you guys to do now is go ahead and determine the absolute configurations, meaning the R and the S, for this Fisher projection using this formula and using this format. And then when you're done, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do it.